now we discuss about the hypothesis of the solar system. So, my dear Einstein, are you ready? I am ready. Okay, so, let's go! Our first topic is about encounter hypothesis. Encounter hypothesis is one of the earliest theories for the formation of the planets. In this scenario, a rogue star passes close to the sun about 5 million years ago. Material, in the form of hot gas, is tidally stripped from the sun and rogue star. It was first proposed in 1734 by Emanuel Swedenborg and later elaborated and expanded upon by Emanuel Kant in 1755. Near-miss encounter occurs between the sun and the passing star. Material is pulled from the stellar surfaces by tidal forces. Material cools condenses to form planetary bodies. Planet located in the asteroid belt are more dense and became terrestrial planets while those located outside have less dense. Our next topic is about nebula hypothesis. The modern nebula hypothesis is the planet originate in a dense disk formed from material in the gas dust cloud that collapses to give us the sun. A nebula was first proposed in 1734 by Swedish scientist and theologian Emanuel Swedenborg and Emanuel Kant. The nebular hypothesis is most widely accepted model in the field of cosmogony to explain the formation and evolution of solar system. This nebula formed. Some nebulae form from gas that is already in the interstellar medium while others are produced by stars. Stars forming regions are class of emission nebula associated with giant molecular clouds. These form as a molecular cloud collapses under its own weight, preceding stars. Our last topic is about protoplanet hypothesis. Protoplanet hypothesis. A protoplanet hypothesis in astronomical theory, a hypothetical eddy in a whirling cloud of gas or dust. That becomes a planet by condensation during formation AF a solar system, a great cloud of gas and dust of at least 10,000 million kilometer in diameter. Rollated slowly in space about 5,000 million years ago, as time passed the cloud shank under the pull of its own gravitation, or was made to collapse by the explosion of a passing star. Grow the protoplanet. Simple form of planet growth, unchanged composition of accreted matter over time. As rock melted, heavier elements sink to the center. Differentiation. This also produces a secondary atmosphere, outgassing. Improvement of this scenario. Gradual change of grain composition due to cooling of nebula and storing of heat from potential energy. Hey, my dear Einstein's colleague. Now you know what is the meaning of the three hypotheses in our solar system now. But before I end this video, I want to give you a simple word. That education is what you mean after one has forgotten that one has learned in school.